Trinidad offers to pay for Venezuelan gas with humanitarian supplies, but Maduro refuses non-cash payments from Dragon Deal. Trinidad and Tobago would pay Venezuela for natural gas produced at an offshore development with humanitarian supplies like food and medicine, Prime Minister Keith Rowley said, to comply with a U.S. license prohibiting cash payments to the government of President Nicolas Maduro. The U.S. Treasury Department on Tuesday issued a license allowing Trinidad to co-develop the Dragon Gas Field, which holds 4.2 trillion cubic feet of reserves on the Venezuelan side of the maritime border with Trinidad. The project would have Trinidad import the gas and turn it into exportable liquefied natural gas, LNG. We have done that before. So we buy the gas and we pay for it in a variety of ways, Rowley told journalists late on Tuesday. Trinidad previously supplied Venezuela with about $50 million in humanitarian goods, he said. Venezuela has resorted to swaps to make its economy work amid stiff U.S. sanctions prohibiting financial transactions or the use of dollars to pay Venezuela or the country's state companies. Maduro has been pressing Washington and other governments to free over $3 billion frozen in foreign bank accounts, money which could be used to import food, medicine, and other goods. The United Nations has been called to administrate a fund that would be financed with those resources, but there has been no agreement between Maduro, the United States, and the country's political opposition on how to implement it. The opposition controls most of the country's foreign assets. Venezuela state oil company PDVSA owns and operated the Dragon Gas Project when it was last active about a decade ago. A new operator would have to be appointed to bring new investment, said Latin American energy expert Francisco Minaldi. From the perspective of opportunities, PDVSA does not have better options at this time to sell that gas under sanctions, even if it means relinquishing operations, he said. Shell, which operates the neighboring hibiscus field in Trinidad, ideally could become the operator, said Trinidad's rally. Trinidad and Venezuela would have to decide on how to compensate PDVSA for past exploration and infrastructure, said Minaldi, a director at the Center for Energy Studies at Rice University's Baker Institute for Public Policy. PDVSA did not reply to a request for comment. Shell declined to comment. In a more recent statement, Venezuela President Nicolas Maduro is unhappy that his country will not receive any cash payments from the Dragon Field gas deal with Trinidad and Tobago and other countries that have a license to get crude oil from the South American country. In a broadcast on Thursday, Maduro described this arrangement as colonialism. He said, they tell a country it has permission to negotiate with Venezuela but it cannot pay in dollars or any form of cash. It must pay with food or products. The Biden administration authorized U.S. and European firms to resume taking crude oil from Venezuela on the condition that no cash be paid to that country. And on January 24, Trinidad and Tobago Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said that the U.S. Treasury Office of Foreign Assets Control, OFAC, gave his country a license to get gas from the Dragon Gas Field in Venezuela waters between the border of the two countries. The Dragon Field holds about 4.2 trillion cubic feet of reserves and project will see Shell as the operator sending the gas back to TNT where it will be turned into exportable liquefied natural gas, LNG. Dr. Rowley was asked about the non-cash payments, and he said that was nothing new as there were other options to make payments. He said, we have done that before. So we buy the gas and we pay for it in a variety of ways. In the past, TNT had provided Venezuela with 50 million US dollars in humanitarian goods, he said. But, Maduro said the arrangement was a joke. He said, it is a joke to sovereign countries. I call sovereign countries and governments in America and the Caribbean to denounce this colonial model. We do not accept it. We will go on our way.